I decided to get a little fancy today. You can call me Fancy Pants. I'm Robert Vera and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now this past week I got a little sick. And when I get a little sick, I have this really bad habit of going on to WebMD and self-diagnosing myself. Now if you don't know what WebMD is, it's this website on the internet that you can type in your symptoms and it gives you this list of illnesses and diseases that you may have. And I always tend to think that I have the most major illness listed and that I only have like one week to live. So I thought, why don't I just look up a couple of common symptoms and see what illnesses and diseases WebMD comes up with. So this one is easy. You get a little runny nose, you think, hey, I might be coming down with a common cold, maybe I have a little allergy. You type it up on WebMD and you might have the West Nile virus. We get itchy sometimes, you know, maybe you have a mosquito bite or you're allergic to something. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You possibly have body lice or cancer. It happens to the best of us. You know, you get a little drool on your pillow. You have a little extra water in your mouth. No, WebMD says you had a stroke in your sleep. Got a little earache. Maybe got a little moisture up in there. Maybe, you know, got a little ear infection. No, thyroid cancer. You're getting a little chilly. Maybe you have a slight draft going through your house. Or maybe, ooh, a ghost passed you. Or worst case scenario, you're getting a cold. Oh no, you've got the plague. You've got a little <coughs> cough, cough, maybe a little dryness. Maybe you're coming down with like a cold or something. Nope, lung cancer. You're thinking, ooh, got a little indigestion. Maybe that tuna wasn't so good. Lead poisoning. Maybe your Aunt Flo came to visit. You know, it's that time of the month. <laughs> WebMD says, intestinal cancer. You think maybe you're just dehydrated or maybe you have a stomach virus? Colon cancer. Sometimes you just get a little pains, you know? Maybe you worked out too hard at the gym or you know, maybe you're just getting a little older and, you know, things aren't moving as well. <laughs> Bird flu. Maybe you got a little swollen glands, you know, your tonsils are inflamed. Maybe you have a little throat infection. Oh, you sure do have an infection. You're infected with gonorrhea. After this, I'm getting tested for everything. And now on to our tip, which will hopefully prevent some of these illnesses, because we're going to make a natural hand sanitizer. So let's get started. So the first ingredient that you're going to get is aloe vera gel, and you can get it in a bottle form or a plant form, but if you're going to use the bottle form, make sure that it's at least 99% pure because we want it to be all natural. I actually do recommend you using the bottle one because it has more preservatives in it that is going to make it last longer than the actual natural leaf. And what the aloe vera gel does is moisturize your skin so it doesn't dry out when you're using hand sanitizer. And what you're going to do is get a container of your choice, and what I I did was got a travel size lotion bottle and what you're going to do is fill up your container halfway with aloe vera gel. So the next ingredient that you're going to get is some type of alcohol and you can use vodka or you could use plain rubbing alcohol. They are both alcohol in the sense that they're both going to disinfect and cleanse but I like to use the vodka because it's a little bit more naturally made than this which is more man-made but they're both alcohol and they're both not bad for the environment. I'm going to use the, the vodka one because I think it's a little more natural and what you're going to do is fill up your container container a fourth of the way with the alcohol that you choose to use. And if you use the vodka, you can take a couple shots while you're making it. The next ingredient that you're going to get is distilled water, and I would say distilled water because it is purified of all bacteria to help your product last longer. And this is going to dilute a little bit of the alcohol so it's not so harsh on the skin. And then you're going to fill your bottle a fourth of the way with your distilled water. The last ingredient is actually optional, which is an essential oil of your choice if you want to. Did I mess my tie up? What happened? Now, the essential oil is not only going to make your product smell good, it's also going to act as a moisturizer. And I recommend using a lemon oil or a tea tree oil because they both have antibacterial properties. And what you're going to do is add about 10 drops to your mixture. 
Once you're done adding all your ingredients, you're going to put your cap on your container and shake it up really good, and then it's ready to use and sanitize your hands. So that is my whole tip, and I hope that you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next Monday for another great tip. Bye, guys. Ooh, I have clean hands.